Good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Manu, Associate Professor, GHG Khalsa College of Education, Guru Sasudhar. I'm here to give you facts about the symptoms and the practical treatment of coronavirus disease, that is COVID-19. It is so called since it scattered on the last day of 2019 and hence the name COVID-19. What basically are the symptoms? Fever, cold, cough, shortness of breath. Sneezing or running nose may be lacking here, which is generally visualized in other flus. This virus generally takes eight days to develop. If you feel you have contracted this virus, first thing that you should do is isolate yourself. Anyone who comes in contact with COVID-19 feels little tired, little fatigued on day zero. By, the day, by day three, the patient shows symptoms of mild fever, cough and an itchy throat. Day four leads to mild headache which is off and on. It is on day five that the patient exhibits gastrointestinal disorders that is diarrhea or cramps. Fever may become normal or it may even increase day six, day seven. The patient will show symptoms like the body pain increases, headache decreases, diarrhea might decrease but stomach may be upset resulting in loss of appetite. On day 8, if all the above symptoms reduce, energy level increases, cough and running nose persists, don't worry, this means that the body has resisted coronavirus and it is in fact improving. In this case, patient need not go for testing as the body has developed antibodies for this virus. However, if after this stage, patient's condition gets worsened, then only you need is to get yourself tested. One should follow the symptomatic treatment. Be very careful with the symptoms. Don't forget to see the symptoms on any day. If now, if on day six and seven, the infection gets more messy, throat pain increases, voice becomes sore, body aches, fatigue increases, mild fever which may increase, dry cough with painful throat, difficulty in swallowing, breathing, you feel nauseated, diarrhea increases leading to vomiting, this means the conditions are worsening. Patient will start visualizing heavy chest by the next day, that is day 9. So this patient needs to get tested immediately and also needs to be quarantined and immediate medical aid is advised. Treatment of this disease is generally supportive. Now what I mean by supportive is, if the throat is dry, give him or her more fluids. If they exhibit shortness of breath, don't hesitate in putting them on the ventilator immediately. In fact, there is no treatment. It's only that one pharmaceutical company, Regeneron, has some promising developments. In terms of vaccination, there is, there was none. However, NIH has claimed to develop one and is presently in the testing stage on humans and yet to be marketed, which will take 12 to 18 months. So, no treatment, no vaccination, what the general public should do. Since its spread is from person to person through respiratory droplets while sneezing or coughing through mouth, nose and hands, so wash your hands often at least for 20 seconds. Use hand sanitizer since it contains 60% alcohol. Avoid close contact with people, especially the sick people. Cover, cuff and sneeze with a tissue or on the side of your elbow. Only wear a mask if you are sick or you are caring for sick people. Clean and disinfect frequently touched places like doorknobs. Senior citizens, diabetic patients, asthmatic, heart patients should take special care. This is basically because of their low immunity. Keep a separate tray for couriers. Courier person can place the envelope or the package in the tray and the courier may be left untouched for at least 24 hours. Wash all fruits and vegetables once you bring them home. 
avoid public transport as far as possible even ola and uber may be used when absolutely un unavoidable otherwise avoid that avoid gyms swimming pools and other service areas where surface contact or airborne contamination is inevitable cancel tuitions dance music classes etc most importantly do not touch hands anywhere on the face maybe i'm so sounding a little over cautious but still wanted to share let's all be alert as we will enter stage 3 since there is an outbreak of infection in the society let's put together to protect ourselves our family and society thank you